Thank you. How lovely to meet you all. Uh, we've had a lovely tour of your school with your head teacher, and he's taken us around and shown us some lovely things. Uh, we're very excited to be here today. Our friend, our good friend, John. Yes, thank you. Wow. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you all. So you are nursery. Yeah, yes. this is nursery. This is all of nursery? No, oh, they are not yet all of them. Ah, okay. Yeah. They are more, we are moving uh, in rooms. Ah, uh, I see. Different rooms. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So we have uh, a field about the size of a football pitch, 
uh, and sometimes the children go out there to do their learning in the day. Um, this is another view of our field. Can you see these here, these posts? They're a different shape. They're not football puck goals, are they? Do we know what goals they are? They're different goals. It's a different sport. They look like this, like a letter H, mm, like yes. this. Yes. Do you know which sport uses that? Not volleyball, no, it's That's a volleyball. sport called rugby. Have we heard of rugby? It's not played so much in Africa and Uganda, but in the UK it's a big sport, and in Wales it's our number one sport, really. Most, more people play football, but most people see rugby as our number one sport. Okay? So that is my school, and that is Mr. Mansfield's school. Uh, we came over to Uganda because we love Uganda so much. We've been before. We came in 2000. Do they do flips like this? So that's one of our dance groups as well, the gymnastic dance group. And when Mr. Wale Ula was with us, he showed us some African dancing uh, from his uh, community. He said we got to dance like this. We weren't very good at this. And then he also spoke to us. For us, in African style, if you are going to enter in somebody's house, you say, Cody. <laughs> So it is always very easy to say Kodi and they say Karibu, but at times it becomes very hard to say bye bye. <laughs> Perfect. So Mr. Mansfield and I have travelled all the way from the UK to come and visit you. We have a very good friend, Joseph, here, who used to come to your school. When he was a little boy, Joseph used to be at Bumwali Primary School. So he told us we must come and visit your school. We've been to Uganda once before, in 2015. So we've been in 2015, and we all, we enjoyed it so much, we promised to come back, okay? Yes. So, we come from a country in the UK. There are four countries that make up the UK. Do we know what they are? Ours is called Wales. Do we know any more? Have we heard of England? The other two are Scotland. Have you heard of Scotland? Yes. And Ireland is the last one, okay? So we have Wales. Can you say Wales? Wales. We have England. England. We have Scotland. Scotland. And we have Ireland. Ireland. One, two, three. Four. Sorry, in Wales, in the UK we have four countries. 
We have Scotland, we have England, we have Ireland, and we have Wales. And so this is where we have travelled from. We live in Wales, and we've travelled all the way down to Uganda. In Wales, we teach our children to find Uganda on the map. We tell them to look out for something around here. We tell them there is a very big lake. Can anyone tell me the name of the lake we tell them to find on the map? Yes. Lake Victoria, absolutely. And when they find Lake Victoria, they can look just above it to see Uganda and they know exactly where Uganda is in Africa. So we have traveled many, many, many miles to get to Uganda. Who can tell me how many kilometers we traveled? Who can have a guess? How many kilometers do you think it is from Wales to Uganda? Just guess, any numbers. Come on. Somebody have a guess. Yes. 4,000 kilometers? More. More. Good start. Tell me another guess. Who can have a guess? Yes. 200 kilometers? No. 250 kilometers? Way more. Way more. Thousands. How many? Have a guess, yeah? Much more. 120 megahertz. Shall I tell you? Yes. Go on. More, way more. 30 kilometers won't get you very far. You'll still be in Uganda. The kilometers are in thousands. So you should talk about thousands. Yes, go on. Oh, more? More than 6,000. Can you add? More than 7,000. Yes. 80,000? 8,000? More. This boy here? 9,000. More. More. <laughs> Anybody? Say it, say it. 10,000 kilometers! Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> we have traveled 10,000 kilometers all the way from the UK down to Uganda. And it was a long flight, and on the way over, Mr. Mansfield fell asleep on the aeroplane. And Mr. Pruitt was laughing at me. <laughs> so, this is a map of the UK. You can see the four countries I told you. Can anyone remember the four countries I told you in the UK? What are the four countries in the UK? Yes. England. This big green bit here is England. We've got England. Scotland. This bit right at the top is Scotland. And it's very cold in Scotland. Next two, we've got two more. Ireland. Northern Ireland is this little bit up here. Wales. Wales is the bit in red there. And we live in the south of Wales, just by here. We actually live in a little place called Newport. Can you say Newport? Newport! This is where we live. So we live in Newport by here in South Wales. And like Mr. Pruitt said, some people speak Welsh, some people speak English. Usually if you can speak Welsh, you can speak English as well. More people speak Welsh in North Wales than in South Wales. Okay? So we've got the four countries in the UK. This is where? 41,000 kilometers. You are much bigger, your country is much bigger than Wales. Wales is very small compared to your country. We are tiny. This is our flag, this is your flag, and in our schools we have got the Uganda flag up. So all of our children in, in uh, Mr. Pruitt's school and in my school know the Uganda flag very well. They recognize it. They see it every day when they walk down our corridor. And that helps us to remember you in Uganda, and it helps us to remember that we have friends on the other side of the world. Even though we live many miles apart, we are still good friends. And we have made many friends in Uganda since we started visiting. And we hope that you will be our friends as well. You know where to go and find her. And here she is with one of the boys in my class, okay? When you walk to my school, this is what you would see. The door to go in is there, and this is where a little place for children to go and read, to have some quiet time in there, and they work sometimes out there too. When you walk into the school, this is the room you would walk into, and the lady behind the desk would give you a nice borada, she'd say borada, and she'd give you a big smile, and say hello and welcome you to the school. This is a classroom in my school. So in my school, we wouldn't necessarily have rows of children like this, but we would have groups of children gathered around the table. 
So this is my class. And this boy here, can you see his face? He was very happy to have his photo taken. So he went like this, a really big smile. Okay, so that is my class in P4. This is the other P4 class. We have two P4 classes. This is the teacher, Miss Mortimer, and her teaching assistant. So the teacher that helped her, Mrs. Whitehead. So this is their class as well, sat in groups. Mr. Mansfield School is very big in Wales. It's one of the biggest schools in the whole of Wales. Biggest, nearly the biggest in Newport, or the biggest at the moment, and one of the biggest in Wales. My school is much less big. He has 700 children, I have 270. Okay, so here you have over a thousand. So over a thousand here, we only have 300 nearly. Okay, so it's a big difference between the size of your schools and the size of my school. Your P5 and P6, or P6 and P7. You have to kind of like, if you are going to enter in somebody's house, you say only. And then the one says, I don't So it is always very easy to say only, and they say, I don't know. But I know it becomes very hard to say bye bye. 